Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we'll learn about what are the various kinds of exceptional cases we can have in a transportation problem. So let's begin. And before we start, let's have a recap of what we have learned so far. We have learned how to solve a balanced transportation problem and we have also learned how to balance an unbalanced transportation problem and then solve it. So these are the kind of exceptional cases we will be focusing on. We can have an alternate optimal solution. We can have degeneracy into the system. There can be certain kind of restrictions given and the transportation problem can be of maximization type. Usually the transportation problem is minimization type but sometimes it can also be a maximization type. In this video we are going to take up the first two cases. So let's explore both of them one by one. So first we are going to take alternate optimal solution. So as it should be clear from the name that this kind of situation arises when we already have obtained an optimal solution of the transportation problem and there is a question posed in front of us that whether there exists an alternate optimal solution or not. So firstly we will be talking about the condition of existence of such alternate optimal solution and for that we have to recall that in the simplex method applied on LPP what was the condition of existence of such solution that if the optimal table contains at least one non-basic variable with zj minus ej equals to zero then we used to say there will exist an alternate optimal solution and we very well know that the role of zj minus cj is played by ui plus vj minus cij in a transportation problem so this gives me the following condition that if in the optimal table of a transportation problem there exists at least one non-basic variable with ui plus vj minus cij exactly equals to zero then definitely there will exist an alternate optimal solution so now let's talk about if it exists then how to find it so for this we have to choose that particular non-basic cell whose ui plus vj minus cij is equal to zero to enter the basis and then we have to complete one iteration to obtain the alternate optimal solution this is the same strategy we used to follow in the simplex method so now let's apply this technique over an example so here I have taken the same example which we have already considered in our previous video lectures. We have already found the optimal solution of this example. So directly I am starting from the point that we have the optimal solution with us. So the table in front of you is the optimal table. The entries written in red are the allocations and entries written in green are the UI plus VJ minus CIJs. So now the question is determine whether there exists an alternate optimal solution if yes then find it so if you look at the green colored ui plus vj minus cijs you notice that in the cell 4 comma 4 there is the value 0 so that means we have found a non basic cell with ui plus vj minus cij equals to 0 so the answer is yes there exists an alternate optimal solution and to find it we have to choose this cell as the entering cell and then complete the iteration so if i choose this cell as the entering cell i will allocate theta units here and following the procedure of uv method i'll draw this loop and then alternatively we subtract and add theta from the corners this will give me theta equals to 5 and upon updation of the allocations I will get to see that the cell 4 comma 2 leaves the basis and my new allocations are this. So that means I have found my new solution which is actually the alternate optimal solution. So if you will be computing the cost of transportation which is turning out to be same 150 and of course it has to be same which was uh, the value present at the last 
solution because that's what the meaning of alternate optimal solution is. So this finishes the first exceptional case. So now let's move to explore the second exceptional case of degeneracy. Although I have used this word even in my previous videos, I have introduced where degeneracy occurs. But now let's recollect all those kind of situations. So what is degeneracy? We know that already that when at least one of the basic variables is zero, then the solution is called degenerate basic feasible solution. Otherwise, we call it a non-degenerate solution. So to have an example, you can see the two basic variables are zero here. So this is an example of a degenerate basic feasible solution. So now the question in front of us is what is the reason of occurrence of degeneracy? What kind of situations are there which lead to degenerate basic feasible solution? So there are two situations basically responsible for this. The first one is in the case when we are trying to find initial basic feasible solution with any method, either northwest or least cost or van, and the supply and demand gets vanished simultaneously. For example, you see here, this is also the example we have solved in our previous video of least cost method. So you can see the allocation 10 in cell 1 comma 5 leads to the supply and demand of 10, 10 units simultaneously vanishing. So in this case, we cross out the column and then retain a zero on the supply side. So that's the procedure we usually follow in this case. And this zero retained here will enter the system as an allocation, enter as a basic variable. Therefore, we will get a degenerate basic feasible solution. So this is one kind of situation that when supply and demand simultaneously gets vanished, so just cross either row or the column and retain the zero, that zero will itself adjust into the system as an allocation. And the second kind of situation can arise while finding the optimal solution using UV method. So in UV method, if there is a tie in the choice of leaving variable, then also we get degenerate basic feasible solution. So here again, you consider this example where you can see that theta is allocation and five minus theta, five minus theta is occurring at two places. So upon putting theta equals to five, there will be exactly two cells where allocations will be becoming zero. And usually we say that after putting the value of theta, wherever allocation becomes zero, that cell is a leaving cell. But here we have a tie in the choice of leaving cell or leaving variable. So we have to break the tie arbitrarily. So let one of the cell leave the basis and at the other place, we have to retain the zero just like we have done in this example that 4 comma 3 has left but in 3 comma 4 we have retained the zero. So you can clearly see this is a degenerate basic feasible solution. So this was our reason of occurrence of degeneracy but we cannot do anything with it. It's just it's occurring we have to identify that this is a degenerate basic feasible solution. There is no way to get rid of it. In next lecture we'll be focusing on the other two exceptional cases when the certain kind of restrictions are given on the system or the transportation problem is a maximization kind. Thank you.